Right, so we're going to talk about Caleb Ewan's crash today. Now, obviously, it was an absolute chaotic stage with Primus Roglic crashing earlier, Garrett Thomas crashing, and everyone else. We're not going to go through those. They're very unfortunate. We're just going to go through the final sprint crash because I think there was a bit of controversy about maybe the sprint finish um, and some other things. So, right, let's get into it. So, as you can see from straight ahead, it's a pretty wide run in definitely a couple chicane well not chicanes but just corners uh but it is downhill so it's a lot quicker um and that always people seem to think increases the probability of crashing uh so we're going to go to the next slide again nothing much has changed here all the main thing to have a look, look at is that caleb ewan is like on we're going to go on uh, looking at as we are on the left side of the road and the road is bending towards the left not good to be that side because the guy can close the gate and he obviously is aware of this but he's been pushed out so if we look here he's now perfectly behind tim merlier which is fine however if you look at his wheel it's on the left if you look at merlier's white shoe um it's on the left of that and that is key issue because realistically what that means um is that He's going to be, he's going to, he, if he wants to come on the left hand side, which he's not going to be able to because he's going to close the door, he's going to have to come on the right hand side, right? There's wheels on the wrong side. And that means he has to stop pedaling. And obviously, as a sprinter, you never stop pedaling because then you're going to lose. So the issue he has is there's wheels on the wrong side and he needs to get it on the other side. Now, I'm going to go to the next, the next footage. Again, you can see his wheel very much on the left hand side, uh, just here, pretty bad um, in terms of the way the corner's going next thing you know his wheels on the right hand side he's out of you can't really see here but he's he's about to fall his wheel has actually hit him but we're going to go to helicopter view after this and obviously the next thing was that he chopped sagan um and cheerio basically to anyone in the sprint apart from nasi barney and even him had a long way to come back from just because of the way it was but anyway we're now on the helicopter shot and this maybe will show people more clearly exactly why it happened so you can see, obviously, Sagan and Caleb Ewan are fighting for Merlier's wheel. Um, and at the moment, Sagan's in a pretty decent position, actually, and probably would be not a favourite, but it, a, a pretty good uh, good odds to win the stage. But then Caleb Ewan, again, you can see we skipped the word pretty, not too far to go, what, 150 metres to go from here? That's actually pretty close. You think they would be actually sprinting, especially with the downhill. But Caleb Ewan's still on the right, and then this is where he chops it. It's just in this small part here, where he decides that I, I need to go left, overlaps his wheel, and then as soon as that happens, you can see like the way his pedal, the way his foot is here, like on the right, he knows he's about to crash. So Gan's like behind him on his hip, like if he was in front of him, then he would have sort of crashed into him, bounced off. But because he's in front of him, Caleb Ewan's handlebars in front of Sagan's, so it's just game over, and it's just like he's gonna chop him, and then as soon as that happens, Sagan's got nowhere to go, and then they both end up on the floor and it's game over and now that is pretty much exactly why they crashed on the wrong side and the barriers are going right and Caleb Ewan needed to win the sprint and he's not going to win it if he stayed where he was he wouldn't have won it because Alpers and Felix had left it so late that no one could come around it's 150 meters to go no one had launched that's very late so it means you're not going to come around especially with a slight corner like he have to come he will number one he'd have to let him go then he'd have to go around the left, but he would have been losing the momentum when he let the wheel go. So he now had to kick up to speed um, and then come round him with like 100 meters to go. It's just not happening. So he, he had to, I mean, they were the only, his only option was really to do what he did, where he tried to just sort of like hop straight behind him. But obviously he did a bit of miscalculations and hopped straight into his wheel and crashed, which is not ideal. But anyway, those are my thoughts and thoughts on the crash. Uh, hopefully everyone we've been, who's been involved in a crash day is all right. Um, but yeah. No ideal for Roglic, no ideal for Gary Thomas either. Um, I don't think Pogac might have lost a bit of time as well, but old um, Carapaz, it looked like the only GC lad who got through unscathed. So anyway, cheers for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.